Yo, what is going on, you slackers? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, bringing you another episode of Rate Their Chances. And if you haven't already seen the series, every single episode I do, each well specific episode, I'll go over one specific character, and I will be giving you know some pros, some cons, go over uh, you know my personal opinions of the character, and then at the end I'll be giving a percentage based on what I believe they have for a chance to become playable in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So as you can tell, uh, today's character is Impa from the Legend of Zelda series. Now there's a few things that I like to kind of go over with when I do characters, and you know, moveset, I think personality plays a factor, because um, Sakurai has stated personality before. Um, uh, relevance, uh, popularity, kind of those kind of things. So uh, let's dive into a few of the uh, the pros first, shall we? So the first thing I'm going to go over with will be the move set. Now I think moves that when when you're coming up with new characters for Smash Bros. Especially, I think move set is a big thing. But now you got the Echo Fighters. Uh, of course, we've always had clones in the past, but uh, now they're referred to as Echo Fighters, and uh, just the way that you could. You know, just implement them, and Sakura has stated this several times that Echo Fighters or clone characters, whatever you want to call them, they don't take up too much development time. So, just kind of adding them in as a last second kind of bonus thing is, you know, it's just kind of, you know, the cherry on top and icing on the cake kind of deal. It doesn't take away spots from anybody else that they had considered. It's just something easy to do you know copy paste move set and you, you know throw a different skin onto a character and boom you got yourself a brand new character well somewhat but uh so move set wise uh, a lot of people like to compare impa's move set to potentially like uh kind of like a chic and uh you know with the echo fighter kind of maybe being a big focus of the upcoming smash ultimate game I think that's where impa's new uh, or not the new but impa's chances are gonna really lie uh, does Sakurai really feel that um, Legend of Zelda is going to get yet another character? Because we know uh, Ganondorf did get slightly reworked. Um, Link got his champion Link and he got his moveset kind of tweaks a bit to um, show off the Breath of the Wild Link. So, uh, And then of course young Link is coming back as well. So is Sakurai going to add yet another Legend of Zelda character? Even though Legend of Zelda as a series, has not had a newcomer since, what, uh, Brawl? And that was, what, Toon Link? And Toon Link just ended up replacing Young Link. So, is it really a new character? Uh, that could be, you know, up for debate. I'm gonna say no. So, we haven't had a true new, true new Legend of Zelda character since, well, Melee, with, uh, the Zelda Sheik transformation and then Ganondorf. So, I think a brand new character from Legend of Zelda is definitely overdue, especially, you know, a unique one, but Again, I really see Impa as kind of that uh, that Echo Fighter kind of clone of Sheik. Now, popularity-wise, you know, there's definitely uh, quite a handful of Legend of Zelda characters that do get talked about for being a potential newcomer, such as Impa, and you could also say, you know, Skull Kid, uh, Midna, maybe even Tingle. There's definitely other Legend of Zelda characters that are up there to be considered for Smash. So, uh, you know, popularity, at least... Impa is pretty well known and is a reoccurring character in the Legend of Zelda series, so definitely has that going for him. And uh, I think, you know, we might as well move on to the cons at this point. Uh, there's quite a, not a few, I mean, not a lot, but there's a few big ones that really stand out. Um, so when thinking of uh, Impa as a character, how does Sakurai envision it? Because, uh, well... Hyrule Warriors, a lot of people like to uh, kind of compare Impa's moveset potential to the Hyrule Warriors game. And if you don't know, it's pretty much considered a spin-off game. So that might play a big factor into if uh, how Sakurai really envisions and sees, you know, the true character. Because when Sakurai creates a character, he really tries to stay true to what that character is. And who that character is. Uh, so that's kind of a main reason with Ridley. Why Ridley took forever. Because he tried to resize. And it wasn't um, it wasn't the rescaling of Ridley. It was more of like the, the proportions of Ridley. That really stood out. But uh, you know. This is not about Ridley. So it's kind of what version. And what I mean by that is. Does Sakurai think the true version of Impa is. 
the one from, you know, Hyrule Warriors with that kind of moveset, or the elderly version of Impa. I mean, it's it's kind of up for debate, you know, it's really, again, it'll come down to how Sakurai kind of envisions the character, but uh, I think, you know, and uh, another con, kind of going back to the other characters and the popularity of Impa, definitely competing with quite a bit, like I said, you know, Skull Kid, Midna, uh, Tingle, there's definitely quite a few that could be considered. Uh, as we know, Skull Kid... A Tingle definitely did Midna and Midna. They all got assist trophies, didn't they? So, uh, I don't know. Maybe they could take the assist trophy promotion route with one of those characters instead. That is something that could be considered, you know, since the, uh, you know, the, the framework for a char- that character could already be in place. So, that that's something to think about. But uh, potentially, you know, um, for a fighter, for Impa, I think, you know, just in terms of, I really think... If Impa gets in, it would be as an Echo Fighter, mainly of Sheik. I do kind of agree with majority of the fan base on that one. But uh, for my personal opinion, uh, I think I'd have to honestly put that around the 50% mark. It's, um, there's, you know, Impa's got good things going and, you know, there's quite a few big things that are kind of impeding the, uh, the, the possibility of Impa becoming a playable character. I think... Echo Fighter would probably be the best chance for input at this stage, you know, but uh, just competing with a lot of other characters from the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, what And Impa wasn't even really voted too highly on in the Smash Ballot, so I think there's there's a lot going on, And but I don't know. Depends on, you know, how Sakurai sees the character in the end. But uh, I guess that is all I got for this one. Did I say 50%? I'm pretty sure I did. But yeah, 50% is my opinion. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. And, uh, you know, if you got any characters you want me to suggest, uh, go ahead, leave them down there. And uh, you might see them next time I do the Rate Their Chances. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, this one's coming to an end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And hopefully we catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.